Okay guys, um, we are going to get into this video and it's like every time I sit here and I finally got myself relaxed and got myself to a part where I'm like, okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Um, oh my goodness, even now. <laughs> like you have everything that you need and it's like I even sat here and I started to close my eyes to meditate for a second and then I had to just completely stop it's like you feel like someone feels like they're so close to their peace that they can almost reach out and touch it but there's just something that just keeps blocking it or getting in the way or there's always something that just keeps happening you know and Something that keeps just popping up. Random things that have to keep being taken care of. Um, anyways, that's the vibe that I'm just getting for right now. For this reading. Um, this is going to be um, just a regular pull. Um, which will be for any of my subscribers. So if you are here and you are not a subscriber. Please hit the subscribe button down below. So that I can pull your energy from this video too. Um, and hopefully give you a more um, detailed um, perspective reading for for anybody in the for any for all of my subscribers oh my goodness <laughs> okay I'm not even gonna edit this I'm just gonna let it be it's mark retrograde pre-shadow and as I said you know I am the person that it will affect the most pre-shadow then it will, like, the day my retrograde starts, I'm usually through mine. But, for right now, I'm just where I am. Alright. Three overall cards that you got. Blossoming, Release, and Self-Love. Okay. I don't know if this is something someone has created a while back. Look at this. I'm going to show you the visual of this. And hopefully you can see it. This looks like this person is shooting this person straight through the heart and it's finally exploding. It's like they're finally... It's like there's somebody here, someone here in the past knew about this person and who they were and how they felt and everything. Um, but this, that person is just now realizing who, who the other person was. The per, that they said they are what they said they were the whole time. Is what I'm getting but now we're, and it's it's now happening because this feminine has released it when the feminine releases that's when the masculine will feel the pull and when the masculine tries to turn the other way that's when the feminine will feel it it's kind of like the the push and pull of relationships all right so let's see what we have here Alright, so this is the past. What advice? What advice for now going forward for the spirit? Advice for now going forward. Inner power. Let it be known. No will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. Manifestation. Sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips, and other times they dwell in the depths of your soul. It is a dance between you and spirit, and the magic unfolds. And look at this picture here. Look. Remember how I said it looks like the 
like stuff is shooting out of her heart. Look at this picture here. It's like stuff is shooting out of their heart. It's like someone's awakening. Like their third eye is awakening. They're finally, they're finally getting it. Maiden, demand what is yours and take back what was taken. Reclaim until you've gathered all of you. Now, this is the, the card readings that have been being pulled in. Like, I do my comic books. I did Witchblade. And in one of the card readings, it kept pulling up this card that was um, the Witchblade. The Sarah, um, which the Witchblade goes to a lot of people, you know, like it's just the wear of it. Well, the girl who was wearing it at the time, she gave it to this girl named Danny, um, a piece of it, only a piece of it, like half of it. And, um, it was supposed to be to protect this person named Danny. And so what happened was, um, It came a point in time when spirit, the spirit came and talked to her and was like, you need to get, you need to take it back. And the other person, the Danny person was always worried, knowing that it wasn't hers to keep. She was just supposed to borrow it. So was, she was letting her borrow it because it was supposed to help her. But then it came the time where there was like this big battle and in this big battle, you know, she came and she's like, that's mine. And she, and the, the way that the witch blade attaches to you, it like, it, it like becomes a part of you. And, but it was never hers. It was always the other person's. And so she went to her and she was, she tried to fight her and she like, she took it back and she ripped it out of, ripped it off of her. It was like ripping off a piece that was meant solely for her. And when it, when she took, um, a hold of it again, it's like the two powers combined and they became whole and then it intensified in the strength you know, and that's what I'm getting here because this is going the exact same way. You know, this could be a union. This could be twins coming back into union or coming back together or meeting again or, or filling the pool, I guess, so to speak. Be still and tune in, for there is something afoot lurking alongside you. Okay, yeah, see? Okay, so this is Spirit saying they're wanting you to tap in. So a, a twin is going to be tapping in. They're tapping into the truth. Hear me loud, hear me roar, for I am here in my truth. A twin is going to speak their truth. They're finally going to speak their truth. They know what the truth is and they're finally going to speak it. Because they're finally in the self-love. Now I feel like this is, I don't know if this is a masculine who's, a male who's in a feminine energy or if this is a feminine who's in a masculine energy. I don't know, but they're about to come back into their true I don't know. I, it, I feel like it's just like coming back to where you were supposed to be. B. Don't drink all of life from one flower, for there are many to taste and many to explore. Give me one more for that to explain what that means there. Okay, I, I think I thought, oh, that's too many. That's way too many. That's half the deck there. 
Give me one more before I speak on and say my my part. I just want to double make sure. The B is kind of like in this deck. It's kind of like the um, the full card goat. Fearless, I am in the path I chose, for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. Okay, so, and underneath the deck, the sun god, come all, come now, expand into the skies and into the shadows below. Okay, so this is as above, so below. You're nourishing your soul. And you're becoming like the phoenix. Look at this. Bonfire. It is through remembering that you will wake the ritual of your existence and be reborn into mighty celebration. It's like this person is awakening and they're remembering who they are. They're remembering who they're... They're remembering, they're realizing who their twin is. They're realize, they're remembering what they were supposed to be doing here. Why they came here. You know, what it was that they asked for in the beginning. Maybe they, maybe they got pulled off the path by someone who was not good. But this person is finding their way back. And I'm going to say this right now. As I, I read Sun in the North Node. And I said I would start pulling Moon too. Because Moon is how you know you relate to other people. But those are the two signs that I pull. Because your North Node. Your North Node is your true path that you're supposed to be on. Like if you hear a reading and you align more with your North Node. It means than your South Node. It means that you are on your your soul's true path you know like the sun is just your ego and what you show to the world the moon is how we relate to other people and I stopped saying Venus just because Venus was like I know Venus is love but a lot of times we get love and lust and love and true love and unconditional love a little bit mixed up so that's why I said I'll I just wanted to pull the Sun and the North node but this is your North node this is your true path this is someone realizing the path that they were supposed to be on or they are going to because this is coming very soon within this near future they're about to awaken it's like it's growing here it, they're they're starting to maybe ask questions or or find out what certain things are or wonder and look back and be like I wonder why things happen this way this is what I'm getting so far okay let's see what card okay okay so this is I'm going to pull, I'm going to start this back over. I'm going to pull two sides. Okay. I'm going to pull you and your twin. Okay. You whoever this reading is for you're standing in your proud energy now this can be either proud or self-love because self-love fell here but what you're doing standing in this you're still standing in the negative energy of it all you're standing in that this is never going to come to fruition I'm not I don't really care this is someone who's gave up faith show me the twin show me your twin Show me my collective's twin. Twin flame. Oh my goodness. They have a frenemy in their energy. 
And so they're really guarded right now. Right now they're just in their playfully um, joking humor. They're warming up to something. They're, war they're warming up to saying, yes, maybe this is what it is that you said it is. And they're disappointed, but they're disappointed. It's like they had a frenemy who, who hurt them. They could have had a frenemy that lied to them, that led them the wrong way down the wrong path. You know, and they tried to play it off like, you know, everything was good. You know, everything was perfectly fine until spirit got to them. Because once the feminine gets through her stuff, it, it shifts to the masculine. Because then it's time for the masculine to awaken. It, like, truly and fully awaken. And this is to the journey, you know. They don't have to accept it, but they will be awakened to it. And they will have a choice. Every twin has a choice. Do you want to go on this path or do you not? Not. Well, this card here, it stands in the, the energy of yes. Yes, I'm going to I'm gonna take this path. But, and I'm going to tell you right now, healing, healing hurts. Healing is hard. When you see a light worker who's worked through a lot of stuff, they have went through a lot. And when they have really good advice to tell you, it's because they've been through it and they have made it out the other side and they're wanting to get, they're wanting to help you so that you don't have to struggle the way that they did and so that you know you're not alone. Let, tell me a little bit more about my collective here. <laughs> Look, taking too long. You think that this is taking way too long. You're starting to wonder if you were just stupid and maybe this really wasn't the path, maybe you just read the signs wrong, but you don't really feel that way because you felt it in your soul. And so you're just laying back and you're just being still. Some of you guys are thinking about traveling, you know, um, We're taking a vacation, which sounds so nice. I actually was talking about that this week. Uh, but you have, you have this energy that's like taunting you. It's like your twins like, I can't explain it. It's like an annoying child. Uh, and I know this isn't like the best way to ex like describe it, but this is the only way I can see it in my head. It's like a child being like, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you, you know, and you feel it. You hear it. You feel their energy, whether you want to have it come in or not. When your twin is opening up. And they're reaching out in the 5D. You feel it. Like, and once you've awakened to the journey, like, all this weird stuff starts happening. Like, you can feel them there. Like, when they, t when they tap in. And someone is going to be tapping in. And it's going to be... Oh, I can't even explain it. When you tap in and you fully tap in and you go and you meditate, 
you can actually find your twin in your meditation because your twin is still a part of your soul. It's the other half of your soul. So when you truly and fully meditate and get into that state, you meet your twin there. You see your twin there. Um, and you feel your twin there. It's like, it's like when you reach out and you take your twin's hand, it, 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 every time it's like a big bright light sh shines out just kind of like in this picture here, but it doesn't come out of the heart. It, it, when the twins grab hands, it, it like shoots out a light. At least this is the way that it's happened for me every single time. It's happened every meditation it has happened, every dream, you know, every single every single time it's like every time you meet them and you come in contact you feel it and it it's it's strange to explain to no one to people who haven't experienced it yet but when you do like you'll know that you're not going crazy because it's happened to others. All right, so tell me the story. Tell me the story of this person's twin flame. Tell me the story of this, pers this person's twin who's awakening, warming up, warming up to the journey. They're heartbroken. I'm oh, sorry, thought you could see it there. I need to lower that down a little bit. They're heartbroken. Why are they heartbroken, Spirit? Tell me what's coming next. They're going to look out to see what else is out there. And they're gonna step out. They're gonna take a leap of faith with this fool. Now, again, all the signs are here. So I had the cards here to pull, but because this card dropped, this card has every all the signs, so there's no point. This is for all signs. This is a collective read. Um but they're looking out and they're ready to take this step. They're ready to step off this karmic wheel. They have what they need. They have every element and they 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 have the ability to pull from any sign, any trait from any sign. This person, this person or you has your moon exalted because this, the signs are right over the moon. So someone has their moon exalted. I know I have my, I have my moon exalted. It's, my moon is exalted in Aquarius. So it's like the time that you were born, you'll, that's how you'll be able to know. If you put it in, you'll see what, you, what, what's more prominent, either your sun or your moon. deck. Which one? Give me just one second. Let's try this one. This one? This one's here.
And this person steps out and they speak their truth. I don't know if this person is married. I don't know if they're in another relationship. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if they are, there was just a third party, if they had to leave a third party. Because there's going to be fights coming. But the fights that are coming with whoever this is, it's divinely guided. This is on purpose because there's two people here that are tied together with the red string. Because you, your twin can't... I don't know. That's the that's the really hard part for me. Because it's like to be a twin. And to have feelings for someone. But they're with somebody else. Because what do your morals say? Do your morals say you don't get divorced? Do your morals say or do your morals say we are married in the 5D? And I feel like this is what this person is going through right now. They're stepping out and they're they're looking and they're seeing what it is that they really and truly believe. Do they believe in the marriage here in the 3D or do they believe that they are the marriage in the 5D amongst the twins? I don't I don't know. But remember, and this is what I, I need to tell you guys. The point of the twins is not to come together and get married. That's just a bonus if you do your hard work and stuff. But like, it doesn't always, it doesn't always happen. Twins don't always come back into union. A lot of times they'll just come back. Um, because there's another lesson that you guys must learn from each other. Oh goodness. Yeah, I said another lesson that must be learned and the High Priestess fell in reverse. I'm just going to take those that flip up. So the High Priestess fell in reverse. So you have a true pair. And not only a true pair, like a true, true pair. Because you have the Hierophant and the High Priestess, which is a true pair that is both spiritual. They're both awakened. They're both, they're both man or man. Oh my gosh. They're both manifestors and they, they know, um, they know what they had wanted. They know what they had asked for. But right now this, this union is not together. They're still in the queen of swords energy because because it looks like this person is married. And a, a twin... I just felt a lot of pain. You got the hermit. The Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, the Two of Cups in reverse. The Three of Pentacles, the Sun in reverse, the Death in reverse, the Eight of Wands with the Empress. Okay, so what went on here is someone fell back to find who they were and they went to come to bring their cup of love. But this person or this specific story, 
they already lent this Knight of Wands, which is the one that I've been warning everybody about, to stay stay clear of this Knight of Wands. Because there's something about this Knight of Wands for the past little while I just haven't trusted. And they accepted this Knight of Wands in, and they didn't push him away. But as I was saying, this Knight of Wands is more going to be as in like a lust energy is in like a karmic or a trauma bond and what it did for this twin that's returning is it turned the two of cups upside down and now this twin is disappointed because they just awakened to it and they just said yes I, I want to go on this journey and they come back and their twin is married to someone and now they feel like everything they learned was just wrong and in vain. And now their happiness is in reverse. And they're still fine on their own. Because the sun in reverse is still okay. It's just not being able to receive your happiness. And the death is in reverse. So the ending never came so that something new could, could come again. Because the person is still married. As I was saying... You know, and so what has to happen is someone has to communicate with their empress. It's like someone now wants to communicate with their empress. Who I just got a headache. Uh what do they want to communicate to the empress about, please, spirit? What does this twin returning want to communicate to their empress about? What I do know is you guys need to meditate. The reason why they left the reason why they had to take a break why they had to why they had to go away to try to find more peaceful to calmer waters they want to speak their truth and this truth is going to come in in a flame. It may come in fast. But, ne but now they see that someone else offered their wand to this empress. And now they feel like... Look at this. Okay, you see this, this five of cups, these are spilt. This is all the blood that's on someone's hands. And he's holding these two cups and he's like, what I'm getting from this image is, should I just pour them out? Because right now I'm in this emotions. The water means emotions. So like if you hear a reader say, you know, you're separated by water or a long distance or seas. It can also translate to emotions. You are separated by emotions. And this is what I'm feeling this is. This is someone trying to decide. These are my two cups. I know these are my two cups. I gave up all the other cups that I had. I let them spill. I drained them. Because he, he's even got the fish down here. There's even a little fish down here that spilt up, spilt out. But he's, there, he's holding his two cups and he's like, what am I going to do with these? What am I going to do with these now? If, if my twin is married to someone else, what can I do? Do I just pour them out? Because I, I can't have them anymore. 
And so this is a twin that's confused. They don't know what to do. Because they've come back and it's... Their twin already got married. This could be a twin who has not said anything yet to their person. They've just seen that their twin got married. And that's the reason why they haven't returned. Because they know it would just be a giant fight if they did. And so this person just wanted to work on the, the money. And they're hiding how heartbroken they truly are. Because look at him. He's hiding how much pain he feels. And look at the brightness of this, just like this card here at the beginning. It's like he awakened, but now he's awakened and it's too late. Because now he feels like he's left out in the cold. Oh my gosh, I can't. We're just going to go with it. I'm just going to let it play. They were left out in the cold by their empress. And now they're fighting again. Okay, yeah, no, I can't do this. Hold on. So they were left out in the cold by this empress, and now they're fighting, but it's like, they're fighting, but which way are they going? Because in this, he hasn't defeated everybody, he's got two swords. But the blind folds off. He knows the battle that's coming is here. But he's looking back at the Empress to see, to make sure that she knows there's still swords here that she can pick up and she can protect herself with. She's calling for them. He's calling for her, saying, where are you? And see, the thing is, she's also looking back. Because no matter which way it is, she's always looking back. It's like she's looking back at him. There was a possibility that this empress was left out in the cold once as well. Because I'm getting that this empress also 
was left out in the cold and had and was looking back at where did this go wrong? Was I good enough? Ace of Pentacles. This is like kind of one of the way that this can be used as in a big blessing is starting to come into fruition or something that you manifested is starting to take form. Remember what I said, someone needs to meditate, someone needs to get grounded, someone needs to find their twin in the 3D or the 5D. Because their twin is calling for them. Like a compass. I don't know how I just heard like a compass, but like a compass, like the North Star. And excuse my fingernails, I painted them. I always just like blop them on and make them a huge mess. And then I clean it up later. That's kind of the way that I do everything. Like I put it all out there, big mess and all. And then I let it lay how it lays. And then I refine it and make it beautiful afterwards. And I, I, I don't, the only reason why I would assume that that story came to my mind and why my nails looks so bad is because maybe that's the way this story's is falling out or how this person is going to do they're going to come and they're going to speak their truth and it may come in quickly and it may come in fiery but they're just going to throw it all out there no matter what mess it makes and where the cards lay is where the cards you know where the cards fall is where they're meant to and if they're accepted, then good. But if not, that's okay. If not, we'll do the cleanup after. But this is someone who's starting to feel the need, the urge, like the need to speak their truth. says the karmic masculine don't be concerned it's a lonely thing protecting a breakable heart so this is oh my gosh This is a masculine who's going to come in and find this, his empress, his twin with a karmic masculine. And what she, the only thing that she can say is, I love you, but I can't hurt him because when you left me, he picked up the pieces that, that shattered he was there for me when you left. He was the one who protected me while you were gone. He loved me when you left. And though I don't want you to be concerned that I don't love you because I always will, I can't break his heart because he protected mine. And now I have to do the same for him. 
now that you've come back in after all this time of hurting me, it's not fair. It wouldn't be fair and it wouldn't be right. Because he may be my karmic masculine, but he's still the person that was there for me when you ran. We have, I heard we have a family together. You may have chose someone over her. They may have chose someone over you. And they just didn't want to make the girl that they were talking to mad. And so they walked away from you. And then you found someone else. The Divine Feminine is awakening about there's something about this karmic masculine they're awakening that that they they know they're going to give up their choices to make someone else happy. They're putting others before self. This is a divine feminine who is very big about loyalty. So even though her masculine returns, she won't this one won't take their masculine back because their masculine left and they're with someone else now. Okay. I just heard this. Okay. There's a karmic masculine who this person is, is in a relationship with now. If they're not married, they don't have to be married, but they're in a relationship with now. This is the divine feminine awakening to the masculine that's returning is not their true masculine. Now, here's the thing about the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. The divine feminine energy will be like a beacon to other d two divine masculines and the divine masculine energy will be like a, f a beacon to divine feminines and sometimes those can be they can be um mistaken for your true twin but it's a false twin it's just someone else who's a twin but they're not your twin the relationship is going to be strong because you are a twin and you know the power of the twin and you stand in the energy of like the divine feminine or the divine masculine and it's very strong but this person is returning and they're realizing this divine masculine could be going back to the wrong person and it's just now that this divine feminine from the past is realizing this wasn't my twin. This was my false twin. This is my karmic masculine. This is a, a divine masculine who is a divine masculine, but he wasn't mine. He was just supposed to come in and teach me something. To stop giving up everything that I want and that I need and that I long for and stop just throwing it under the rug and accepting less. It's teaching, this person was just teaching me self-love. Okay, so that's two different stories there. Anyways, all right.
They saw in her a bright star burning and basked in the heat of her flame, but behind that bright, she was smoldering for breath in the black of a life she never asked for. So this is like someone awakens and they go through the fire and it's like as as I was saying now this person wants to come in like this in this smoldering heat and take back what's theirs but when they get there they're gonna realize it's not theirs that wasn't their person that was their false twin that was their they they it was just like a strong something like sometimes I get like these images or these feelings and they're just so hard to explain Yeah, this is a narcissistic masculine. This is a, a narcissistic masculine who literally just wants to come in and go swing and rip clothes off. It may be ambitious, but you will find value in it. And this is saying this narcissistic masculine who is returning to this false twin. This isn't the true twin they're going to return to. It's their false twin. It's their karmic partner. Um, they're, their spirit saying, I need you to look really long and hard at this because I need you to see when this person comes back what lesson you are supposed to learn from them. What place is this? You are lost and this is nowhere. Nowhere is closer to somewhere and it is closer than you think. So this is spirit saying, what the heck spirit? You know, this is like someone saying, what the heck spirit? I awaken to this journey and this person, I thought this was my twin. But it's not my twin. And spirit saying, it's okay. It's okay. We sent you a false twin on purpose. Because we needed to know. We needed you to know that when your true twin comes in, you will have got ready. Because you started preparing when the false twin was there. All you have to do is remember... Remember to make someone feel understood. Remember to make someone feel accepted. And above all, remember to make someone feel real. So this is saying, when this narcissistic masculine comes in, do not put them down. Don't tear them down. If you are a divine feminine, please be nice. This may not be your person, this could just be a karmic for you, but this person is supposed to be awakening and learning their lesson. And right now, they need empathy from you because they are feeling so low. And this does not mean validate them and make their narcissism like greater. It just means make sure that you explain yourself. Make sure that you speak your truth. Make sure... You explain the things in the way that you saw it, but do so in a manner that doesn't rip the person down as who they are. Just more so tell them how disappointed you are in their actions, not as in how disappointed you are in them. Because even if they are a narcissist, that doesn't mean... Or they acted in narcissistic ways. Maybe they only wanted to use you for sex. It doesn't mean that they aren't still real. That they aren't still human. And they that they aren't still what we drew in. Because like attracts like. And when we draw someone in. It's because 
they're either like us or they're the opposite of us and they're the one that's going to teach us the most and we needed that and we asked for that and though it may be hurtful and it may have been painful we needed that we needed them in our life for a reason so be kind i keep hearing be kind be kind be kind This is, okay, so, this karmic, could be someone that you're teaching, it doesn't have to be if this karmic isn't someone that you're teaching, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this may be a whole separate story. This karmic partner may be someone that you're teaching um, what you know. Or you could be picking someone to help teach or to help them grow. Now, way over here on the side. From whoever this is here, this karmic masculine. You have a divine feminine and a divine masculine attaching in the in the 5D. So you see they're not on earth. They're in the 5D. This love is growing in the 5D. And I'm assuming it's because you're teaching someone and helping them grow. Um, you're doing your light work is pretty much what this that means. Um, it means that you're on the right path. And when you awaken, or you, when you level up, when you vibe higher, when you heal, your twin will meet you there. You have a female who's having some very bad luck. No, this is the Divine Feminine. The Feminine is having bad luck. It says, she sat in her perfect house with her perfect husband, wishing her perfect life would end. This is someone who feels like they're never going to talk to their twin again. This is someone who needs to step out of their com comfort zone. They need to step out, even if they have to expose someone else. It says, Divine Feminine knows the karmic will be exposed. And if she doesn't stop lying, the angels will punish her. And see, look, this angel is over this girl and she's an angel saying but this isn't but this isn't what was meant for you so that's the karmic partner this is a fem a female now who's had bad luck since her and her twin have split she's had bad luck she's been in the lack of mindset she's been upset she's starting to figure out her worth She's starting to figure out what was needed and what um, what was out of balance. Maybe this 
Then tell me what's coming for this feminine who has this feminine had someone pretending to be your twin's twin or the masculine chose wrong. Take it as it resonates. This feminine was very gullible. Maybe she let people run all over her. She had a divine soulmate come in. And the masculine, the masculine's karmic says, now I'm going to do the same that you did to your twin. This is a terror eater? <laughs> Jesus. Another terror eater pretended to be your twin? Your twin's twin? Whoever the female is that was in the relationship with their twin, who when it ended started having bad luck, who had a, a, a divine soulmate come in, and then the masculine, when she started to find balance and know her worth, then the masculine's karmic partners like now that your twin has learned the lesson now I'm going to do to you what you made her go through and it's all because it's all because a long time ago someone lied and said they were someone's twin when they weren't they tricked someone into saying that this is your that I'm your twin but they weren't It says tarot cards. What's a cop need with these? Maybe there's more to him than meets the eye. This is someone who wanted, who used the tarot cards to get this masculine because they wanted to use him. They wanted to take this masculine from this feminine and they used the cards to lie about who they were. And what they wanted. I think this this fell in the Sagittarius read a long time ago. I think it. I only remember that because it's like one of my highest viewed videos of tarot. Not of like all my channel. But of tarot it's the highest one. It's where someone in a, a Sagittarius soul tribe read the cards. And they knew what they said. But they lied on purpose. Because they knew that it would pull their twin away from, or this person away from their twin. And they knew that if they pulled this person away from their twin, they would come to them. I don't know... I'm going to say this. Everybody always like says, I want to be a twin. I want to be a twin. I want to be a twin. I want to find my twin. Not everybody has a twin. And I'm going to say this right now. If you don't have a twin, it is not the end of the world. In fact, 
it pretty much guarantees that you don't have a huge line of pain to go through that you would if you had a twin. Because this person obviously didn't realize that this twin had a lot to go through with their twin. And what they did is they pulled their twin away from them and then the energy got put onto the karmic. Now it's the karmic's responsibility to change the twin because the karmic pulled them away. And what it does, God will sometimes, from what I understand, God will do that sometimes to separate them so that they learn lessons apart from each other so they don't destroy each other together. What do we got here? Yeah. This is being sneaky, trying to get away with something. This karmic still feels like they're they're getting away with something. She said, the she said she loved the oceans, and I said I love the stars. And for the first time, we agreed on something. We both saw ourselves loving the things we dreamed of and ignored everything that made us beautiful. And because of this, we were never born into what they wanted us to believe. This is like, now that the, the masculines went through it, now they both see each other's sides. Well, now he sees her side as well. Now the balance is coming. Torn. Some days I feel like my soul is being pulled in one direction and my heart in another. Wandering souls. She walks the earth freely, yet her feet never touch the ground. Many hands will reach for her, but she cannot be anchored. She belongs to no one, to nothing, to nowhere. When you meet her, you will recognize her for who she is, a free spirit, a wandering star. She will fit in your arms like she was made to be there, and she will show you what it means to hold something you can never hold on to. This is, this is someone who's letting go of their twin. This is one or two, two. moments. That's the tragedy of growing up. Never you'll run knowing you'll run out of feeling something new for the first time. The sad thing is, you only get so many of those moments. A handful, if you're lucky. And then you spend the rest of your life turning them over in your head. I think that's why you meant as much to me as you did. Why I held on for so long. I didn't know it back then. But you were the last time I would ever feel anything new. Ooh. I felt this one in my soul, guys. I think this is going to have to be my last card. I, I can't feel this. This is a uh, pain. I felt this. This is dark night of the soul. This is hard dark night of the soul. I'm going to say this right now. If you were in the dark night of the soul, it's going to be hard, very hard, but I promise you, just keep going 1% better, 1% farther. If nothing else, just give 1%, 1%, don't give up. Just keep going, even if you're, whether you have to run, walk, whether you can only crawl, whether you can only, like, slither, it doesn't matter. Don't stay there. Do not stay in the dark night of the soul. You have to get out, and you get out by finding your worth. 
You find your worth by doing your healing work, by going through your shadow work and finding your self-love. A long time ago when I was going through my some of the hardest parts of Dark Night of the Soul, I had gaps because I, there were times I couldn't come on here and do it and speak and be okay. But I have videos on here for self-love and obviously I need to start them back again because this hurts. This is hurting my soul right now. I'm going to say this. For any of you guys starting in the dark night of the soul. Or just realizing who your true twin was. Realizing that you made a mistake the whole time. That your true twin has already been through the dark night of the soul. Your feminine has been through the dark night of the soul. She knows what you're going to go through. And she knows how hard it's going to be because you guys are the same soul. And she knows how hard it was for her. It's going to be equal his heart for you. And if she's your true twin, she won't want bad to happen. She will protect you at all costs. She will choose protecting you over protecting herself. Just know you're, you're never truly in separation. The pain, even though it feels like it's never going to end, I promise you it gets easier. It gets easier when you forgive yourself and when your twin forgives their self. That's when it starts to release. When you start to forgive. Not forgive your partner because remember your twin is your mirror. You don't have to forgive your twin. You have to forgive yourself. The journey is not about forgiving someone else for what they've done to you. It's about forgiving yourself for what you've allowed. Your twin comes to mirror to you what you have had happen in your life and who you are and how you are. They help. They come to help you grow. They have come to help you learn. You're never fully separated from your twin. There is no such thing as an actual separation between twins because they are always connected in the 5D watching over. They won't. God won't step in and mess with your free will. But he will always quietly guide you back to each other. But right now, whoever it is that's going through the dark night of the soul, you just keep going. Okay, just keep going. Do not give up. Do not stop. Because your twin still needs you. They still need you to be there. Whether you're with them or not, that part, that part doesn't matter. But your twin still needs you not to give up. Because if you give up, your twin won't give up. Because you are the same soul. You have got to reach down into the depths of who you are. Into the soul that you never knew was there. And you find that truth that's on fire. That is your truth. And you stand in it. And you fight through the dark night of the soul. And you make it out. Because if you can turn into this, you can light your sword on fire and find your way out of the darkness. You've got to keep going. Anything else? I want to plant a seed in your mind. Some tiny particle of thought that bears a remnant of me.
So little by little, day by day, you find yourself thinking of me until one morning you will wake up and realize you can't have anything else. <sighs> I can't even explain that one because that's given me so much to too many different people and if I spin that one it's gonna come from my side so take this again I'm gonna repeat this and to hear what your twin is saying to you no matter which part you are in this hear these words and this is what your twin is saying to you I want to plant a seed in your mind so tiny particles of thought that bear a remnant of me. So little by little, day by day, day by day, you find yourself thinking of me. Until one morning, you will wake up and realize you can't have, can't think of anything else. This is your twin saying, though, that they think of you every day. Whether you know it or not. And no, they don't know if you think of them. They're gonna plant the tiny seeds in the 5D. So that here in this 3D, you think of them. Whether you think of them in a song or you or in a chat and they, there's someone in the chat that has the same name or you have the same spirit animal or spirit animal or you see a wolf you see a wolf in almost every card that you turn over And every day, you think of your twin. Because every day, there's something small that reminds you that when you cry, that when you cry, your twin is still there. They are still there. Even if they're not beside you, they're still there. And that's all I can, that's all the energy I have for this reading, guys. Thank you guys for spending the time and listening to this story. Um, I really and truly appreciate it. Um, if you would, please hit the like and subscribe down below. If you'd like to be notified of the next videos that are coming. And until then, stay weird. Bye. But don't forget, don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs>